everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zoo Keeper Bunny Siri and we are here for a very, very, very special Saturday special today! It is my birthday! So I have turned 28 today, you guys, and I never thought I would spend my 28th birthday in an adorable clover bunny outfit. You see this? I am a clover rabbit! You can't really see my bunny ears, but I promise you I've got some cute little bunny ears so you can see the back of them back there. And I am dressed up as an adorable little clover bunny because today we are going to go on an adventure and we are going to be looking for Easter eggs. Look, there's one right there. There's one right there. But Alex has put so much work into creating an awesome Easter event so that Alex, Pavo, and Nirene all work together. You guys know those amazing zoo crafters. You can find links to the videos down below. It's very amazing all of the hard work they've put in. I mean, look at how beautiful that egg is. But they have worked really hard and Alex was the main guy who put together an Easter event for us. And I thought, what better way to celebrate my birthday than by going and doing the special Easter event. And then I wanted to dress up as a little clover Bunny. Isn't it just adorable? You'll be seeing the Clover Bunny again tomorrow for something very special I won't mention beyond just saying that you should keep an eye out for my adorable little bun bun self. And we're going to spend the day looking for the Easter eggs and basically just having a fantastic time. Oh, I am so excited. Every year when it is time to celebrate my birthday once again, I cannot believe this is the third, the third birthday that I am celebrating with you guys in our beautiful Zudesia world. That is just so surreal. All right. Alia, you come with me, and Ash, you come with me, and we are going to spend it looking for Easter eggs while well, we're an adorable little bunny. And before we get started, I want to run down to the house and I want to get some carrots because I am an adorable bun bun. I am a little clover bun bun. And you could say I'm related to Thistledown from our Star Stable series, so we should go get some, some berries then because Thistledown loves berries. And we're going to go get some carrots so that we have delicious fun things to eat while we are doing our Easter events. And let's look at this egg really quickly. This is egg number 43. I have no idea if it's our egg, but it's a good, beautiful example of what the eggs throughout the world look like. And we actually found a couple eggs when we were poking over in the village, um, Zomberry Village. I almost said the Village of Light, but that is not where we poked. We poked around here. I don't see them from here, but oh, we're going to have so much fun hunting for all of them, you guys. I just know we're going to have an awesome time. All right, puppies, let's go ahead and feed you guys some raw pork chop really quickly. And then we're going to go down and we're going to go get some food. So we are all geared up and ready to go. Oh, yeah. And I also went ahead and I got some more empty jars because I figured what better way to celebrate my birthday than we can be as distracted as we want by those beautiful butterflies if we happen to see any more of them while we're running around in the world collecting up the eggs for the Easter event. So I'm really looking forward to that. All right. Night like mm, hug. Hug, pet, pet, pet. All right, you be good, Nightlock. Oh, you're such a good cat. He's huge. He is just feasting on all of the mice that try to come into my little garden of Eden and uh, and eat off of them. Oh, yeah, and thank you so much to Gary and Luca, who did the math yesterday, and they helped to figure out that next week is actually going to be the 800th episode of Zoo Crafting, or at least the 800th episode since we, like, have been counting trees. So the next tree is actually due on either Wednesday or Friday, and I I think we're going to go with the Friday date. So the next tree is going to be planted on Friday and we're probably missing a few days in there uh, going by that math, but that's okay. So we're going to have tree 800, which will be uh, the representative tree for all of the adventures we've been up to in the last hundred episodes. So if you guys have ideas over what we could put up there as the tree that could represent everything we have done, maybe a cloud sort of tree to represent the cloud phoenix who's over here in the sacred oak with Holly. Hmm, we're gonna have to think about that. What was some of our most notable adventures? Oh my goodness, darling, it's my birthday! Darling! Darling and baby Quill, it's my birthday! It's my birthday! I'm 28 years old today! It's my birthday! Ladies, it's my birthday! Aki, it's my birthday! Aki! Aki! Carrots for me! How did you know I wanted these carrots? Thank you, Aki! Aw, this is what I wanted! Because it's perfect! I'm a cute little bun bun and now I have my carrots! And I can eat my carrots while we are on our adventure. And I was actually thinking we might turn the carrots into something really quickly. 
But yeah, what was the most memorable adventure for you guys in the last 100 episodes? I need to hear that so we can figure out what kind of tree, and it can be a custom tree we can make ourselves, what kind of tree might be the proper tree to plant to celebrate, hmm, like real skewer, to celebrate the last 100 days of zoo crafting. So the start of the year to, to now would be what we would be uh, doing. Maybe I should just make some salad. You guys think I should just make some, ooh, like some veggie salad? Hmm. I don't think I have any wild carrots though. We should make some carrot cake. Yes, because it's my birthday and we're going to be, oops, oh dear, Aki's not going to be happy about that. I'm sorry, Aki, because it's my birthday and like we are celebrating. Oh my goodness, Aki, look at all this stuff. You've stuffed like the scallions and everything else in here. My goodness, Aki, this is not where these things go. And there's not even a little hoe in here to fix the ground. Oh well. Yeah, let's make some carrot cake because it is my birthday. And then, no, I need these carrots. And then as we go around, what we can do is we can actually leave the carrots, uh, or the carrot cake down at other people's houses. I love that idea. All right, Alia, Ash, you two go ahead and sit down in the garden. You two can follow me today. Let's check on how the other puppies are doing. Hopefully they're okay. Yeah, it looks like everybody else is fine. All right, good. It looks like they just sat down on their own again, but we'll let them wander around for a while. But yeah, all right, ladies, Primrose Bluebell, it's my birthday. I turned 28 today. This is a really surreal feeling. Like, when did 28 happen? Does that mean I'm gonna be like not 20 soon? Oh my, that just, that kind of like zoomed by. I can't believe we've been together, you guys, since I was 25. Wow, 24, 25. Yeah, we've been together a long time. We're growing up together, you guys. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel pretty amazing. All right, so we're looking for some fresh veggies and I'm pretty sure maybe I put them under staple crops. Yeah, here we go. Tons and tons of carrots over here. We won't have to worry about carrots for a long time. Apparently, we just started getting Aki to actually plant carrots too, because my goodness. All right, and apparently, the eggs, I guess the eggs go into miscellaneous harvest. We'll fix that later. All right, oh wait, and we're probably going to need um, some wheat to make some flour so we can just make tons and tons of carrot cake. This is gonna be awesome. I'm so excited, Bluebell. I hope I have enough sugar. I don't think I have enough sugar to make tons of carrot cake, but it's birthday carrot cake and we need lots of dough. Okay, we'll have to see how much birthday cake I'm going to be able to eat. Um, do I have any salt? You know, girls, I may be I may be low on salt. I need to reorganize my cabinets. I don't keep them very neatly organized whatsoever. All right, and here's some salt ore. So let's see, and then I can use that, and I'm pretty sure I had a bunch of water somewhere. Yeah, lots and lots of fresh water. And let me go ahead and open up these salt ores. And we're gonna make some delicious birthday cake. And I know some people like really believe you shouldn't have to make your own birthday cake. And usually, fun fact, Chips makes me a birthday cake. So usually every year he makes me a vegan dark chocolate, German chocolate um, birthday cake. And I'm beginning to think I should ask him to make me one today, even though I was like, oh no, I just want a little chocolate tart from Whole Foods. You don't have to worry about anything. And now I'm beginning to think maybe I do want one of his cakes that he makes, because we only have them once a year and he makes them from scratch so he makes the dark chocolate German chocolate cake for me from scratch which is one of the sweetest things in the world to do he is he's just so wonderful okay I'm not making the dough just right so what am I missing oh the mixing bowl I've just thrown water salt and flour onto the counter <laughs> they're not in anything so they're just gonna make quite the mess let's fix this there we go, all right, and now we've got some dough, wonderful. I'll have to remember that we need to get salt or we need to work with somebody to get salt in the future. All right, so next up, we need the baking tin, or the baking pan, and let's see, I need sugar or honey, and I need the baking pan. All right, we've got this. Let's put these things away, wash, 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 wash. All right, mixing bowl back away, mortar and pestle away. Here's the bakeware. But yeah, some people think that you shouldn't make your own birthday cake, and I understand that, but I actually enjoy cooking, so I don't mind. We have plenty of sugar. I forgot about how Ben gave us so much sugar. That's wonderful. I wonder if the Aki's would actually help us out with the sugar. We'll have to look into that. And boom! Oh my gosh, 38 carrot cakes. That is gonna be more than enough to eat, and we'll have the raw carrots. Yeah, we'll be fine, you guys, we'll be fine. Wash, wash, wash. But yeah, I've never, like, it's never really bothered me to have the idea of making my own cake. Um, cause I enjoy cooking quite a bit. 
Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna, have, I, I had flour up here the whole time. That's okay. Cause I do enjoy cooking quite a bit. And um, for me, it's always so fun to be able to cook it and then share it with people. Uh, I really love sharing my, my food, sharing my celebrations. For me, it's all about sharing with friends and family. And that's why every year people are like, Siri, why are you recording on your birthday? Because you guys, I wanna share the happy stuff with you. That's what this is all about, sharing the wonderful, fun, happy moments with you guys. And so that's why I'm here on my birthday. And there's nowhere else I would rather be other than snuggling with chips, but that's or with my family. But I hope you guys are okay with like coming after those two things. And I have enough room in my heart for all of you, I promise. I really do. It's pretty it's pretty amazing <laughs> to see how you can grow and change when you have so many people to watch after and care for, Alia and Ash. You just got to keep your heart open and you just have to be like willing, willing to learn willing to like just share happiness with people and i've never regretted it all right let's keep going we're gathering up all the yummy strawberries thistledown is our bunny in the star stable online series and i love him so 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 much i love getting art of him so much it's like one of my favorite things in the world and he loves berries so since we are a bunny today an adorable cloverleaf bunny i am a spotted green bunny and if you look in my hair if i turn my head really quickly here i think you can see it from behind no, I can't really see it from behind, but on the sides, I promise you, I'm wearing some adorable flower headbands. So I have an adorable flower headband in, and I have adorable dots on me. Green dots, because green's the best, darling. All right, darling. All right, little quill. I'll see you guys later. I've got, let's see, we'll put this mince pie, emergency mince pie away. I've got the butterfly net, so if we see any butterflies, we can catch them, because today is my birthday, and if I want to catch butterflies, I'm totally going to catch butterflies. I've got empty jars in case we see those butterflies. I've got carrots. I've got berries, I've got my awesome puppies, and I'm good to go! Alright, you guys, so let's run out here and let us see what is in here. Jude, do you have anything here, Jude? Is there anything inside of... Oh, let's see. Anything inside of the mail chest? Nothing inside of the mail chest today, so I'll lower the flag. And that means that this package right here is what is waiting for us to begin the adventure. So you guys ready for this? These adorable little chick chicks? I sense an Easter egg hunt! Okay, let's do this. Authentic authentication. Blah, 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 blah. Um let's start. <laughs> Alright, page one of one. Dear sir or madam, we have recently uh we have received word of a delivery for you from the Easter Bunny. Please come to the Easter egg factory and report to Peter Rabbit for authentication. Oh my gosh, that's hard to say. Have a happy Easter, P Rabbit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is so cute. We need to go to the Easter egg factory. Is there like actually going to be a factory with Easter eggs? Alright, Ash, alright, Alia. I told you too that you've been so good. And I bet they're, they're actually sick of eggs. They're probably like more eggs because they were stuck inside of there taking care of Holly's chickens and helping to collect the eggs for so long. But somehow it seems appropriate to bring Ash and Alia out of everybody. Oh, can I take the little bunnies? I'm going to take the little the little chick chick plushies. There we go. I'm going to take these with me because they're adorable. It's our first treasure. Our first Easter treasure. Oh, this is going to be so fun. But yeah, because Ash and Alia used to have to watch over all the eggs in there, it kind of seems fitting to have them with us as we begin the Easter egg hunt. So, oh, there it is! Oh my gosh, I haven't seen this before! It, oh, Alex, he puts together the most amazing events. I hope you guys can go and say thank you to him because he is just so fantastic. He works so hard, even though he's got so much to do. So let's go see what the Easter egg factory is holding. Oh my goodness. Where am I? Oh gosh! Oh my gosh, this is cute! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, there's a duck! There's a duck and there's a cliff! Am I gonna die? Oh no, it's a it's filled with pandas. It's a it's oh my gosh. Oh it is. That scared me. <gasps> Look, it's a little teleporter chick! Oh my goodness, he's so cute! Hello, little teleporter chick, how are you? <gasps> oh my goodness! What? What's even happening? Okay, hang on a second. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's barbed wire over there and there's there's chickens and there's little chickapoos they're just wandering around there's a teleporter chick and there's a giant like cavern ravine i don't want to die oh my gosh there's like <gasps> there's so much stuff down there oh my gosh if this was any other place i would try to rescue them look at the little chickapoos look at them running through the grass oh my gosh and there's swans just bobbing over here like in this little pond and there's more chickens and there's deer that are happily standing over here and there's like a whole factory over here <gasps> i've never been over here before i have no idea what's over here this is so cool 
This is so cool. So this is old Jeb Farm down here and the Easter egg factory right here. Okay, this is too cool. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Oh, they're so cute. They're chirping at each other. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to try walking across this bridge really quickly because this is so neat. And there's, there's a little picnic area. There's a little picnic area. Mr. Cow, this is a picnic area. This is adorable. Would you like some carrot cake? I'm going to see if... Can I put the carrot cake down over here? <gasps> I can! Okay, we're going to share our carrot cake, you guys. There we go. This is the way life should be. We are sharing our delicious carrot cake. So whoever comes hunting for the Easter eggs next will be able to savor. Do you want some, Mr. Duck? You know, I always tell people, do not feed ducks bread. It will give you what's called angel wing disease. Go eat, go eat, that, go eat that gourd. That's better for you. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right, hey, okay, we're sharing my birthday cake now. This is this is okay in moderation, Cal. In moderation, okay? Don't don't do this too often. You're a bovine. I know, I know. Okay, you know what? You're right. I'm I'm being a party pooper. You enjoy. You enjoy this carrot cake as much as you want. I am glad I can share it with you. That is what the excitement out of my birthday always is, is just sharing happy moments with people. That's when you share a happy moment with somebody, it makes it eight hundred million times happier. So I highly recommend trying it out. Look at the baby chickaboos. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I definitely want to check out Old Jeb's farm because this place is going to be amazing. I'm so happy we left some of my birthday carrot cake behind us. And let's go ahead and head over here. Oh my gosh, there's so many baby chickaboos. It's so cute. <gasps> there's a little fawn. Oh, look at him. Oh my gosh, and there's a doe jumping around over there. Oh my goodness, and here's another chickapoo. Okay. Um, okay. We've got to come over here. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Happy Egg Ink. Oh my gosh. Wow. You guys, this is the Easter Bunny's Easter Egg Factory. This is amazing. Ooh, I better dust myself off before we go inside though. All right. You ready, little chickapoo? Let's do this. And there we go. Oh my goodness, I got so ahead of myself for the Easter egg hunt. I forgot to do some important things to make sure everything showed up the way it should, but we are all fixed now, and we have this adorable little chick chick. It's been running around at my feet, and it's just the cutest thing in the world. I love it. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. You are so cute. Do you know how cute you are? You are so cute. You are so cute. Oh, but all right, are you guys ready for this? We are going Easter egg hunting. This is going to be so awesome. I mean, look at this. This is the Happy Egg Ink Factory. And and we're going to go inside, and apparently we are going to be able to meet with um, with Peter Rabbit, if I remember correctly. Is that really who we're meeting with? <gasps> I think we really are. Oh boy, that's a big wig. That's a big wig. Is all my fur right? Okay, I think, alright, how's it look from back here? Okay, okay. I'm missing a tail. It's too late for that. Alright, I'm just going to have to cope for now. And oh my goodness, look at those beautiful deer. They look even prettier now. <gasps> okay, let's do this. We're going inside. Um, all right, all right. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We're in the presence of the Easter Bunny. All right, oh my goodness, what's that? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Are those chocolate eggs? No way. No way, okay. Um, Easter Bunny, the founder. Look, this is a statue. There's little chicks running everywhere. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, and there's levers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's chocolate. It's chocolate on a loop. The little, oh, what are all those? Oh my gosh, is that cake? Is there cake falling on my head? Okay, and there's foreman bugs. Okay, I'm sure we can look around in just a second. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, hello sir. Um, oh my gosh, there's chocolate cake flying over my head. Um, how are you, uh, uh, manager Peter? Morning, seriously. I trust you saw our message. Well, let me get you up to speed. We've received gifts from the Easter Bunny himself for you, but we need a bit of authentication. No, no, you won't need a passport or a driver's license. We at the Easter Egg Factory have a much more reliable way of finding out if you are truly who you say you are. As we're speaking, Easter eggs are being hidden around the base in places only you have access to. Uh, if you really are, seriously, you'll be able to find the eggs no problem. All of the eggs have numbers attached to them. Remember them and add all numbers up to give a grand total. To get your Easter egg gift, just flip, flip the lever underneath the sign which has the same as your total. It's foolproof. What could go wrong? You better start searching if you want to get a gift by Easter. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. I think I know how this works then. So we'll have, remember those weird numbers that were over at the house? 
So if we go back home and we search for the eggs around our home and then we add up all the numbers that are attached to the eggs, then we should be able to come back over here and then the number should add up into one of these numbers. And I think, did he say there's 10 eggs? I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere there's 10 eggs. Are there 10 eggs? I'm pretty sure there's 10 eggs. All right, we'll have to double check on that. Oh my goodness, but it's very nice to meet you, Manager Peter. So I guess I guess he isn't like Peter Rabbit himself, but Manager Peter. All right, and Banker Sunny. Oh, it's a banker! Sweet, so he's got the, uh, the bank system worked out. I didn't know I needed to bring any money, so I haven't brought any money with me. But I can always, well, maybe I have some money, like, left in here somewhere. Um, no, I think I lost all of my money <laughs> when I lost my other backpack, but we're just gonna have to cope with that. Oh my gosh, look at the little chicks. <gasps> look at this! You guys! Look at this! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, where is it all going? It's all going into the chocolate factory! Well, look at all of this! Look at the candy! Look at all of the delicious candy that's just like rotating around the place. Look at all the bunnies! Look at all the bunnies working on making the candy! This is so cute! Oh my goodness, you guys are all adorable! Oh my gosh, and here's more levers. Oh, there's levers everywhere! There's levers absolutely everywhere! I thought it was just that first lineup, but they're all over the place. What is this? Uh, I probably shouldn't poke around inside. That's probably not a smart thing to do. But all right, so you just have to, wow, okay. There's actually levers absolutely everywhere. So I wouldn't be able to like, just walk up to any of them. It looks like somebody has already found one. <gasps> somebody has already found one of the presents. Oh my gosh. They've already collected all their Easter eggs and they've gotten the presents. Okay, Um, I guess that opens a door. Or, oh, I think I get it. The levers will open a specific door. And then inside the door, let's see. I think, are these people's names? All right, what about, wow, look at this. This is really cool. Oh, this is so cool. All right, so, oh, 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 company owner. It's, it's Bigglesworth. You guys, it's Bigglesworth, the owner of the Easter egg factory. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't want to bother him. Clearly, he's got important paperwork on his desk, and I see... Oh, look at Mr. Bigglesworth! <laughs> he's so cute! He's so cute! Everybody is so cute! I just... If I could rate them on a cuteness scale, it would be off the charts. Oh my gosh. They're adorable. Alright, so I think I've got it. If you come on over, then... I wonder if these are people's names. I just can't see them correctly for some reason. That might be the case. So, hmm... Hmm, and then I guess we'll just have to like run around and check for the numbers. There's numbers everywhere. Oh, company, company trampoline. <gasps> There's a company trampoline out here, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is adorable. I'm on the company trampoline. This is so cute. Look, there's somebody's gift! You can see somebody's gift down there! Oh my gosh, I wonder who it, whose it is. Okay, we're gonna have to get home. Alright, we're gonna have to get home and I am gonna have to go check and see exactly how many Easter eggs we have hidden around our home so that we can come back and we can find what our gift is going to be. And then maybe, maybe I can even get a part-time job here. This is, this is amazing because this is just like the, the factory I would have thought that the little chips would want to have. So this is fantastic. I wonder, oh, maybe I shouldn't say that out, out loud, like too loud, because what if we end up being like competition for the bunnies when the little chips open his factory? So we'll have to just uh, kind of keep that keep that on the down low until then. But all right, so let's head back home and let's figure out how many eggs we have hiding around our property. And then we'll be able to come back here and we'll be able to collect our present. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Maybe some candy too, because that just looks delicious. Ah, I was just about to go back to the teleporter chick and then I remembered there's a farm. There's old Jeb farm down here. And I'm kind of curious. Oh, hello, beautiful black swan. I'm kind of curious about what's over here at Old Jeb Farm because this is this is interesting. I am not familiar with Old Jeb. I'm not familiar with his farm. Oh my goodness, look at all his sheep. I mean, what does what does Old Jeb do here? Oh, he's got a bunch of chickens. I wonder if he supplies the eggs. Look at the little chicken house. Oh my gosh, look at all the eggs. There's so many chickens. They're so cute. Look at that. Oh my gosh, we've got we've got eggs that we're like accidentally picking up. I wonder if I can give them to old Jeb. Oh my gosh. And they've got oh wow. Ooh. Oh, they startled me. 
Hello, little guys! Hi! Look at all the eggs you guys have over here. Well, I don't really, I don't need them because I happen to have a bazillion and a half eggs back home. So let's hatch some little baby chick chicks. Any more baby chick chicks? Nope. Hello, little guy. You, you're gonna be our little Easter chick. Um, and don't worry, we won't eat you. All right. Hello, Cal. All right. So let's come over here and let's talk with Old Jeb. Hopefully, he won't try to like put his dogs on me because I'm dressed up as a little bunny right now. All right. Insert password here. What? Hello, sir? Hey there, are you here to help out old Jeb? I can't get into my house. My wife left to get some groceries from the store while I was out tending my flock. And now I can't remember the password. Will you help me? I'll make it worth your time. Um, okay, yeah, sure, I'll help you. What do you want? Thanks, seriously. My wife knows I'm forgetful, so she left me notes on the table giving me hints. All I can remember is that it has something to do with the sheep. Of course she hasn't given me the password itself. She doesn't want no burglars. <laughs> oh my gosh. When you think you've gotten the password, write it on a piece of paper and throw it in this here dropper. If it's right, the door will open. The password is all in lowercase. I can remember that much. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. What's this? Okay. So we would name the paper and throw it in there. Insert password. And then I should be able to, to see into his house. Oh my gosh. And so we have to help old Jeb get inside. All right. Something to do with the sheep. Something to do with written on the table. Hint for Darlin. Jeb, I know you'll forget the password, so I've written down a few things you'll need to remember it. I won't write them all at once. See if you can work out as little as po uh, work it out with as little hints as possible from Jenda. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. The flock may be able to help you out. Perhaps you should go and ask them. Oh, okay. Let's try to do it with the first hint, and then we'll go back. And we need to look. <gasps> You guys, it's a little ant carrying away an egg. I love it when they do that. Isn't it the most adorable thing? When we start getting our ant tunnels built for the entomology laboratory and the entomology research center, we definitely need to make sure that, oh, he just climbed right in. He just scurried right into the chicken coop and then scurried right out of there. That was adorable. We're definitely gonna have to do that. Oh, and old Jeb, here Jeb, um, here. Okay, I'm gonna put this uh, right there. All right, see, and we can share, we can share some delicious carrot cake. I am a bunny who brings carrot cake. It's, it's really fun. So if we come in and ask the flock, uh, <laughs> hello, are you deaf? I need help. Oh my gosh. All right, so there's Edith, here's Tina, here's Oliver. Uh, here's Holly. Alright, Cynthia. Annis. Luis. Um, Owen. Claire. Ask the flock. Hey, you guys! Baba Black Sheep, maybe? Um, there's Edith. Yep, Tina, Oliver. Okay, so, hmm. I thought maybe one of the sheep would be able to tell me something. Luis? Luis, do you know how we could we could help him back into the house? I need to go Easter egg hunting, but I'm really curious. I'm really, really, really curious about all this. All right, well, let's just come back over here then. All right, pardon me, pardon me. All right, let's come on up. Let's try hint number two. And if I can't help you now, Jeb, don't worry. I'll come back soon. I just need to go Easter egg hunting. There's something particular about your flock's names. Can you work it out? Ooh, okay. Um, so the flock has a name too. Hmm. Flock. 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 So, who all has names? I don't think many of these guys have names. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Hello, little ones! Hi, guys! Flock. Is there, like, a sign I missed? Or maybe it was, like, a, a, a flock a, of sheep? Cynthia. Edith. Huh. Huh. I feel like I should be getting this. Oh gosh. Oh gosh darn. Oh, oh dear me. All right, back in, back in you go, back in you go. I don't want Jeb thinking that I'm like coming to like get rid of all of his chickens. All right, in fact, I'm gonna help him get more chickens. There we go. All right, so flock, flock, flock. Edith, Oliver. Let's see, Tina. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking as hard as I can. Let's see, let's see. Remember, we live by an Easter egg factory, darling. Edith. Pay close attention to the first Oh of your sheep's names. Oh boy. E O Um so Easter, Easter, Easter egg. E O C O A C H L Hum. 
I'm going to have to spell that out. We're going to have to come back and we're going to have to, we're going to have to like gather up our Easter eggs and then sit down and we are going to have to sit with old man Jeb. Oh my gosh. And he has a chicken climbing on his roof. And we're going to have to see if we can riddle what his sheep's name, the first letter of each sheep's name is supposed to spell something, I think. So we're going to have to see if we can solve that riddle, but let's go back home. I'll be back, Jeb. Don't you worry. I'll come back for you. Let's go back home and let's see if we can gather up our Easter eggs for right now. There should be 10 eggs and we should be able to find all of the eggs around our home. And I'm really, really, really excited. I am so excited. And then we need to add up the numbers with the eggs. Okay, so Siri's house in Zomberry Village. And let's get back home. All right, good. And we are back home securely. And now we can start looking for the Easter eggs. Okay, Alia. Yeah. Ash, good news! We're kind of right back at home, so it's kind of silly because we, we got all, all dressed up for like a really big, big, big adventure. And it's still a huge adventure. It's just a big adventure around the house. So let's start where I know we can start, which is up here in the Garden of Eden. Because we accidentally stumbled on an Easter egg. And it's such a pretty one. Look at the way it matches the leaves. Oh my gosh. All right. And so this number is 43. So we'll add that in. I'll put it into the little calculator. And now we need to go and we need to add in some of the other numbers. So can I, can I actually collect this egg? Because this is so cute. I want this egg. I really want this egg. And I think it's adorable. And I, I just, I want it as decoration forever and ever and ever in memory of the Easter egg event. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Yay. Okay. So 43. And I should probably leave the signs where they are so I can find them again. Can I see anything from up here? Oh, what was that? What was that? You guys, look, there's another egg and it's up high. Oh gosh, how am I going to get there? Because both the chocobo are not accessible right now. Is there another egg on top of my house? I don't think so. I know there's another egg in the village though. Oh gosh, I hope it's not hidden like... Oh wait, wait, wait. <gasps> look, I see another egg. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. Once you know where to look. Oh my gosh. And I know I saw one in the village when I was over here. See? Look how pretty. All right, let's see if I can just see the number then I can get that one later. 21. All right, so we have 43 and 21 and I should probably get that chest out of here at some point because it has zombies inside of it, but we'll take care of that later. I'm sure Boulder has it. So 43, 21, that egg is so cute. I can't wait to go collect it. And then let's see what's down here. Um, is there one up with Puddin? Let's check and see if Pudding has one. All right, hiding back here or under the leaves or over here. Um, what's that? Nope, that's just a little torch. Okay. We just have to make sure Puddin doesn't have one up at her place. All right, here's the little seats. No, it doesn't look like the soybean field and the tofu pressing shed have any. But Puddin, you're stuck again, aren't you? All right, hang on. Hang on. All right, come here, Puddin. Puddin. Get inside. There we go. All right. Ash, be careful, please. All right. And we're going to put Puddin back over here, which really, I don't know why I bother because she's actually got so many soybeans. Um, yeah, so many soybeans over here. It's not like, it's not like she can do much. So we'll take care of Puddin later. But it doesn't look like we have any Easter eggs by Puddin. And I don't think we'd have any... I haven't seen any when we were doing our work at the Tree of Illumination. I might have to check the Nymphsia Garden because that's where I would hide an Easter egg if I was hiding Easter eggs. So let's come back down to the house. Oh, do we have some fresh mail already? I'm going to have to check that out. I think somebody may have wiggled back to the house while I was gone. Oh, somebody did! Somebody did wiggle back to the house while I was gone! Oh my gosh! All right, well, we have more mail. What is in here? Oh, it's happy birthday from Alex! Oh my gosh, and it's huge water lily. <gasps> Tiny birds and forest squirrels! And a forest raven! Oh my gosh, and it's a music disc. Oh my goodness, Alex! Look at how much he's doing, you guys. Isn't this just phenomenal? He's put together the entire Easter egg event and this. This is just amazing. Dear Siri, just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. I was exploring in Twilight Forest recently and came across a few squirrels. They looked lost, so I thought you might want to check them in at the Wellnut Rehab Center. I also came across two American goldfinches, a house sparrow, and two ravens, which I thought you might like as well. And of course, I had to get you some kind of plant for your birthday. I've included some May apples, 
but also some giant water lilies and some twilight forest saplings I found in leaf dungeons. Hope you have an amazing birthday. Oh my goodness, that was so friendly of him. Everybody is so wonderful and sweet. I'm going to come back and collect all of this in just a little bit because we're doing our Easter egg hunt right now. But oh, Jude, isn't that just fantastic? Isn't that just fantastic? I'll come back and get the mail and put it away in just a little while because we're doing our Easter egg hunt right now. But man, you guys, that's what I mean. Do nice things for people and you'll feel amazing and they'll feel amazing and it's just amazing all around. And look at this cute little egg. It's already our fourth egg that we have found. Okay, so this one is 96. So we have 43, 21, 96. We're at 160 so far. So, hmm, I'm going to collect this because this is just so cute. I love these eggs. I'm keeping them forever and ever and ever as the special Easter event. I totally am. All right, so let's go ahead and I need to figure out how to get up there. Um, maybe I can see from the balcony. Oh, I wonder, are there eggs in here? It would make sense. I would hide the egg in here. Chickens! Chickens, do you guys have an egg? Like, well, you know what I mean, an Easter egg. You have plenty of eggs. I'm, I'm picking them up, like, just walking around here. Um, I don't see them this way. All right, I think I saw one in the house. All right, let's put this away. Aki, Aki, Aki! My little Aki's, have you seen Easter eggs? Maybe one's in the plant shed. This is really fun. Okay, so we've got four that we found. One number I still need to get. Nothing in the plant shed. What about down here? Oh, there's a rutabaga. Well, we, we found a rutabaga. All right, what about over here? Nothing over here that I I can think. Uh, I don't see anything just yet. What about with... <gasps> the puppies have one! All right, here's a green egg over here. So 14, and this is a really cool egg. It looks almost radioactive. So 43, 21, 96, 14. So we're 174 so far. All right, let's go ahead and very carefully gather up this egg. They're so cute. We're collecting so many adorable little eggs. This is awesome. Put away the rutabaga for a second. Are all the puppies doing okay? All right, you guys look like you're doing well. I've got more puppy food. In fact, I can bring you more puppy food like right now. So we'll put that away really quickly because I, I really should. All right, good. They've got lots of puppy food in that one. Oh, yeah. Lots of puppy food in that one. And we'll put more puppy food in this one. And lots of puppy food in this one. Good. Puppies are doing good. We've got the smelly old boots in here. We found another egg. They actually have tons of food. Wow, I didn't have to worry about them nearly as much. I think I just needed food to like carry around with me when the dogs are coming along. All right, Ash. All right, Elia. Come on, puppies. Good boy, Ash. We're still looking for these special eggs and I need to climb up to my balcony and see if I can... Is there one over here? I always think this was a, like would be a good spot to hide something because it's kind of like against the corner of the house. All right, so we've got a few. Is there one in here? They like to hide things behind my fridge. Hello, ladies. Oh, is there one down here? Okay, not in the pantry. Okay, back in this corner, no. Here's some eggs, but these aren't the ones we're looking for. These are not the eggs you're looking for. All right, let's put this down. All right, is there one? Nope, not hiding in here. Oh, here's another one. Okay, this is really cool. It looks like an Umbreon egg, doesn't it? That's what it makes me think about. So 11. So now we're up to 185 and we found one, two, three, four, five. And then there's the sixth egg. We haven't gotten the number four just yet. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. All right, let's get this Umbreon egg. This is amazing. This is amazing. I feel like with all of this egg stuff going around, you guys, we definitely might have to see what the Cloud Phoenix is up to. All right, I really hope the rest of them are like hidden around my house because otherwise this could get very interesting trying to go through the whole zoo. But you know what? It's That's okay. That's okay even if we have to, darling and darling and, and Martha. <laughs> because that is just the way it goes sometimes. All right, nothing up here. All right, let's see if we can see. Nope, can't see on top of the tree just yet. I might have to pillar up to the top of the tree. All right, anything in here? Let me look around. I don't think so. Hello, little chips! With my, my chameleon armor. I really need to wear my chameleon armor more often. Oh yeah, I knew there was one up here. Okay, 256. This is one of the ones that we stumbled on earlier. 256. All right, so now we're up to 441. And we have six eggs 
that we've gotten the numbers for and we saw a seventh so let me see if i can carefully without stepping on essence berries because they hurt when you step on them they really do all right let's there we go all right got it all right and yay oh my goodness i'm so excited okay and let's see if we can see the number from over here oh i can 121 okay so now we have 121 so we're at 562 with one two three four five six seven eggs okay so good we found seven eggs so far two of which i haven't collected yet because i couldn't reach them just yet oh hello little chips give you a little pat on the head uh, do you want to do you have a little bit of carrot cake i know it's not your favorite but i don't have this i mean that chocolate at the chocolate factory was amazing i wonder when it's off season if you can get like discount chocolate from the easter egg factory <laughs> that would be awesome that would be so awesome okay so let's see let's look downstairs we've looked upstairs hello kitties major calhoun captain kaz i wonder i know that they're almost ready for eggs Oh, 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 what's over here? <gasps> 29! Here's another egg! Okay, I don't think they would have bothered the chocobo. I'm gonna take a quick little peek. No, yeah. Quiet, please. Yeah, no, nothing in there. So good. They didn't bother the chocobo because the chocobo are nesting and we want to try to give them plenty of space. So, plus 29. So now we're at 591. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh my gosh, really? We only need two more eggs? This is fantastic! I am so excited! Come to me, little egg! It's so cute! The little eggs are just adorable! I love them so much! Okay, so now we just need to find two more. Okay, let's look back at the security office really quickly. All right, Major Calhoun and Captain Kaz. Captain Kaz at the, uh, the catnip as usual. I really... I wonder if he needs to retire. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see over here. Lots of little chips. Nothing down here. Nothing hiding over here. This had to be so fun to be able to run around and just like hide things in people's places. I would, I would have loved that. Hey, Pigman Fern, do you have any Easter eggs? I'm not sure if they turn into the hard-boiled eggs since you keep it so toasty in here. And still you wear a sweater. You know, some people have been petitioning for you to wear like a summer bikini. And I thought that was pretty hilarious, but we won't make you do that, Pigment Fern. Don't you worry. Alright, so let's wiggle our way down here. They've got to be in here then. There's Assistant Freezer Bunny. There's my little alien plant thing. I'm only missing two eggs. Just two more eggs. I mean, not down here. Not over here. All right, not over here. Gotta find two more eggs. Hello, Experiment 404. Mm. All right, not over here. I wonder if mm. I need to check further down by like the Zudesia area. Um, there's Experiment 911. Here's Bella. Okay, no, nothing here. All right, Iverson. Um, has anyone come in and left any colored eggs? Any dyed eggs anywhere? Um, let's see. Okay, nope. Nothing here. Pretty sure. I'm gonna triple check. There's a Rubik's Cube and her notes and her, like, little computer because she's making constant studies. No. Okay, so I don't think the lab had anything. Pretty darn sure the lab didn't have anything. Because they're not terribly hard to find. Alright, so that means we need to search further afield or maybe back in the garden. I could have very well missed something in the garden. So, hmm. Or maybe... Alright, I'm just going to carefully wiggle down here. I don't think they would have bothered the chocobo, though. Yeah, I don't think they would bother the chocobo. Because we're trying to let the chocobo rest so that they can get their eggs laid. Oh, well, careful there, Alia. Come on, sweetie. Alright, so let's go back upstairs. And maybe we'll find some more eggs upstairs. Okay. We've got this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Climb, 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 climb. And then I need to help poor Jeb out. <laughs> and I'm not very good with, like, coming up with uh, scrambled names. So let's see. What about on top of the house? Or what about behind the waterfall? Hmm. I better check to make sure that there aren't any eggs that are down in the zoo. I should probably ask really quickly unless... Hang on a second. Ah, see, that would have been another good place to hide it, kind of at the little back area that I never check. Um, let's see. I know we had one in Zomberry Village. So that was, like, Siri's house in Zomberry Village. I wonder... Let's see. Do we have one over here with little Ben? Let's see if little Ben is hiding an egg. 
Is he hiding an egg? Nope, he's just playing with his chameleon. We should make him some more sandwiches. I just have wayward, wayward children like lost on my property, so I need to make sure they're fed. All right, let's run up here. And we need to find an Easter egg, Easter egg. I bet there's more hiding in Zomberry Village somewhere. Because we found that egg. It was very brightly colored and pretty. And I don't think... I mean, there might be more in here. Oh, and now we're getting diamonds thrown at us. Yay, puppies! Good job! Oh, yay, cake! Yay, birthday cake! Oh, and thank you guys so much for figuring out, like, what day would have been Junior's birthday. So we do have Junior's birthday dates figured out, and it's April 8th, I believe. So we will be celebrating Junior's birthday when the time comes. But all right, let me ask just to make sure that I know where I should be looking. So one second. Oh my goodness, you guys! I just got the hints and I feel like such a silly nilly. So apparently I may have walked past them multiple times. So they're not going to be back at the house, but they're going to be nearby. And apparently there is one near Pudding. And I just like walked past it or something. So we're going to go up and we're going to go visit with Pudding. I'm going to like study every little nook and cranny and just make sure... That if there is an egg hiding, see I'm like those kids who run around too fast and go for the easy ones. And then I don't look carefully enough at all of the leaves and try to see. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's one right there. And try to see where the eggs could be hiding among the leaves. Oh my goodness. All right, let's jump up here. And this one is 69. So another cool radioactive looking egg. And that gives us our ninth egg, you guys. Okay, so we're at 660. All right, so we just have to keep adding up the numbers. Of course, this is the way that rabbits would think it is a good idea to try to like authenticate. Uh, there we go, I finally said it right. Authenticate that we're nearby. And apparently Pudding does have one that's somewhere around here or somewhere near her along this area. Look, you can see Erica from here. Hey, Erica, over at the Three Paw Doggy Bakery. All right, and then if we can just figure out where the egg is. We found the last egg. We found the last egg. I was told leaves and the bridge area uh, over by Puddin. And Puddin, you had your very own egg and it was hiding here the whole time. I feel so silly because we literally ran past it. How many of you guys saw it on the first run by? Because that is hilarious. I was like, oh, Pudding probably has one. We should probably go check on her. And sure enough, she did. So our grand total number is 754. Oh, yeah, 754. We need to go ahead and remember that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Alia. Come on, Ash. Come here, boy. Come here. Good boy. All right. Grab Ash and Alia. And let's make a little bit of room. I'm going to put the berries away. All right. And then we're going to pick up the last egg. And come right over here. Can I get this little egg? Come here. There we go. All right. So now we've got all of the eggs that I could reach. And they're so cool. And I'm going to use them to decorate. <gasps> when we're done, we should decorate my yard with them. Okay. But for now, we need to run back and we need to show the rabbits that we have gathered up all of the eggs. And I know what number I need to look for. Okay. And I'm going to double check the number. Just because I'm worried, I'm going to forget about it. 754. 754. To the Easter egg factory. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. And then I'm going to try to help old Jeb again because I'm not very good <laughs> with figuring out those kinds of puzzles. So maybe some of you guys have already figured it out, but we'll try to help old Jeb out. Oh my gosh, we're doing this. This is really happening. Oh gosh, I need to watch out for all of the cute little chicks that are everywhere so I don't step on them. And look at this. I'm just kind of going to sneak over here. This must be the chocolate loading factory. Look at the little bunnies. Look at them. They're working so hard. That is just the most precious thing I have seen. Oh my goodness. All right. So we're going to run down here. And now that we have our ticket, our certificate of certification um, with our number 754, 754. All right. Look at that. Easter bunny, the founder. Wow. Wow, this whole place still just takes... Oh, look, and I can see it now. So this one's for Anasia. This whole place just takes my breath away. Oh, wow, I don't know why I couldn't see it before. All right, so this is for Huck. And then there's Ben. I figured he would be one of the first ones. Ah, uh, here's, here's Siri. Here's Siri right here. Okay. So um, I think these would be ours. So 754. There it is. <gasps> it opened. Okay. All right, let's do this. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty in here. <gasps> Look, you guys. Look, it's our little chest 
surprised and it's gonna have our Easter surprise. It's going to have our Easter present inside. Okay, all right. You guys ready for this? Let's see what is hiding inside. And it is so much chocolate. It's so much chocolate and an egg and an egg and it is the cookie chicken. <gasps> I have been wanting this for ages and that's perfect because we can use the cookie chicken to help out with the little chips. They can have a factory of their own. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. We need to take our cookie chicken back. We need to take our cookie chicken back and we need to like hatch it inside of the chicken coop and we need to like feed it a cookie so it doesn't try to kill us and we have a cookie chicken now and we'll have to give it to the little chips and then they can be super happy and raise their cookie chicken and look at all of this candy. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's gather this up. I'm gonna have some very happy chips on my hands. There we go. And I wonder if we can take these two little, little plushies too. There we go. Wow. Wow. Wow, that was so cool. Oh my gosh, it's not over yet. Okay, let's go back home and let us spawn the cookie chicken. So let's walk past all the little guys. I cannot wait. I just cannot wait. Oh my goodness. There's Pavos. There's Wins. There's an, like Nirnes. I know that Anasia's is somewhere nearby. And there's Mara's up there. And this is just gonna be fantastic to see everybody else get to come and visit. Look, they have little customized stools. Oh my goodness, look at Chick! Look! There's a chick on the conveyor belt. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And it's just a constant stream of conveyor belt and candy. And this is so cute. Why is this so cute? Look at this chick. Look at it. Where are you going, little chick? Where are you going? I'm pretty sure this like ruins quality check issues. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. This is so ridiculously cute. All right, you guys, let's go back home. All right, so we're gonna go back home. Thank you so much, uh, PR manager. And we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna put away our chocolate really quickly. So that we've got a little bit of room. Might as well put our pickaxe away too. And we're gonna go ahead and, <gasps> did I lose the glorious grafter? Please tell me, oh, there's the glorious grafter. Thank goodness. I was so worried for a second that we may have lost the glorious grafter as well as the bat pick. But let's go ahead and before we head back home, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna try to solve the mystery of what is going on with the sheep once more. Cause I really, really, really love this. E, the O's are throwing me off. So E, C, O, E, C, H, O, a lot of O's and C's, T, L. Chocolate, chocolate. Is that, there, there was an H involved, so chocolate maybe? There's too many E's for that though. So let's read, let's read a couple more of the hints then. All right, pay close attention. The first letter must spell a word. Come on, Jeb, you must remember by now. Write down a list of all the sheep's names and rearrange the first letters to spell a word, an Easter word. I don't think it's chocolate. An Easter word, an Easter word. Is there a C? There's an A, H, C, T. I'm pretty sure it may be chocolate then. There's an E, but there's already too many E's. Wait, unless I keep looking at Edith. Edith, I think I keep looking at you and you confuse me. I'm pretty sure the word, I'm pretty sure the word is chocolate. So we're gonna give this a go. We're gonna see if the word is chocolate. And if that is the password to get inside. Hello chicken, you're adorable. You're adorable, chicken. All right, do I have enough enough experience, I wonder? Um, all right, let's try chocolate. Oh dear, I don't have enough experience. All right, let's see if I can just go ahead. I had some essence berries. I could have sworn I had some essence berries. I don't have enough experience. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Can I get more experience? Can I, can I fish here really quickly and like get enough experience to be able to, to name the paper? How embarrassing, because I think I finally figured it out. All right, let's see what we catch. Because sometimes you get experience from doing this. And if we don't get experience from this, nope. All right, well, we got a brown trout at least. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna have to go home and we're gonna have to eat some essence berries because I don't have enough experience. How embarrassing. And then we will come back and we will name the paper and we'll bring it back to poor Jeb. And we'll see if we can help him get back inside his house because I can't leave the poor man just stranded on his own 
without any help and then go off and try to enjoy my cookie chickens on my birthday knowing that there's somebody in need. So let's go ahead and come on down. We're gonna go eat some essence berries. I could have sworn I like left essence berries in my bag, but apparently I didn't. There's a lesson to be had there. All right, we'll come over here. Guac. All right, I'm pretty sure I had some in here. All right, apparently I got them out of there. Why must I be so tidy? Apparently I got them out of there too. I wonder if I had the essence berries. No, I didn't have the essence berries. Aha! I knew I had them somewhere nearby. All right, there we go. Nom, 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 nom. Tastes like creeper, very good for you. I guess I could have picked it fresh off of the bush in the, uh, the tree or, or the tree of illumination. No, in the Garden of Eden, but that's okay. All right, let's come down. And then we're gonna come back and we are going, oh, there's more carrots. I'm a little bun bun today, so it's important to eat carrots. And then let's come this way and let's go up here. And we're gonna go help that poor old man get into his house because I just, I can't, I can't leave somebody in need, you guys. And then we'll come back and we'll make some cookies. And then we will hopefully, hey, little teleporter, what you doing? And then we'll hopefully be able to have our cookie chicken, which is going to be so exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh gosh, there we go. All right, teleporter chick, you've, you've, oh, you didn't clone yourself. You just had another chick. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, no wonder it took a second if the teleporter chick cloned itself. No, it's just another little chick visiting it. That's adorable. I wonder if they take turns working like that. All right, so now we are on our way over here. Turkey's goblin everywhere. And then I think he said there's something on the table for us, if we can help him in. All right. And then, is that it? <gasps> that was it! Yes! All right! So we have helped the poor little old man into his home. Oh, gosh. All right, Jeb, you're inside now. Thank you so much, seriously. I'll have to hel tell old Jinda to make the password something easier to remember. Hmm, I did promise you a reward. Just behind you is a photo of a cougar that I took myself. You want me to take the photo? Nah, you just need to, <laughs> you just need to break things. The wall to the right of it is hollow, and in there there's a safe. Help yourself to ten emeralds. It's the least I can do. Just don't come back to old Jeb's farm and burgle the place, okay? If you can, put the wood, wood back. I don't want Jin to know when I let a stranger about the safe. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. So this should be a picture of a cougar, and I just don't quite have it. And then if we go ahead and keep pecking away at it, Jeb... Sir, I, I, I'm sorry to tell you. And there's a painting canvas. There we go. All right, let's 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 rotate ourselves back here. Okay, there, Jeb, Jeb, there's there, Jeb, there's there's no safe over here, Jeb. Maybe, or that, there's a cougar safe somewhere. You know what, Jeb? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it. Cause he's, he's just a little old man. I'm gonna leave cake for him all over the place so that he can share some cake. I'm gonna nibble some of it though. So he can share some cake with his wife when she gets back and we're gonna carefully exit here. And Jeb, you just have a grand day, okay? I'm really glad we were able to help you inside. Maybe I'll come back for, for something else. If not emeralds, for something else in the future. And I was, oh, that was really cute. <laughs> that was such a cute little side quest, oh my goodness. And I'm glad that we managed to help him out. But I'm not going to take an old man's emeralds. I swim in emeralds of my own, so there's no reason to take an old man's emeralds. Hello, cutie pootie. All right, little peep peep and little chick. All right, let's come over. Siri's house and Zomberry Village. And let the world load in. It's so pretty. It's a good chance to just sit and watch the flowers for a moment while you let the world load in. All right. Oh, so we found the Easter eggs, you guys, some of which I need to like reach in the future, but let's put them down as decoration along with the little chicks and then we will decorate for Easter this way because this is just so cute. Oh my gosh. All right, so there's Easter egg here. There's Easter egg here. There's Easter egg here. We're just gonna put them all over the place because they're so cute. Oh my goodness. And then we'll put little chick plushies down too. Whoops. All right, I'm gonna have to fix that. Just broke my bench. That happens sometimes. Don't panic. All right, there's that. And here's a little chick chick. And let's put a little chick chick over here. All right, and then let's go ahead and put the egg right there. I have two more eggs and I need to go collect up a couple of the eggs. One that's on top of the tree, one that's in the, the village. And this is so cool. All right, gonna put an egg there. 
And look at this, look at how cute it is. All of our eggs gathered together so that we can just savor them and enjoy the amazing event that this has been. And now we need to have our cookie chicken spawn. So let's get Ash and Alia out, but then I'm gonna make them sit down so if the cookie chicken attacks me, they don't attack it. All right, you two, I need you two to sit here and be good, okay? And then what we need to do is we need to get the cookie chicken and we need to get a cookie to tame the cookie chicken. And then I'll put the cookie chicken in with all of the other uh, chickens and we can add a cookie slot. And then the cookie chicken actually will lay cookies, you guys. I'm so excited about this. It will actually lay cookies, which would be so much fun. And then we could eat the cookies. All right, let's put the, uh, sam or the cake down. Sandwich, what the heck? All right, and um, we will continue to eat carrot cake for a little while to celebrate my birthday and also just to celebrate the fact that we have managed to uh, be a bunny for a day, which is really fun. And now let's make some cookies. So good old fashioned cookies. We just need to make a plain normal cookie and that's going to be cocoa beans and wheat. All right, and that's all we need, cocoa beans and wheat in order to tame. There we go in order to tame the little chicken. So there's some cocoa beans. And let's run downstairs. Ah, door! Tripped over my own door. Let's run downstairs and grab the wheat. All right, and then we'll run upstairs. I know, ladies! And we'll make some cookies. All right, here we go, and... <gasps> there's so many cookies! This is gonna be awesome! Okay, and then we can come on over. And I wonder how I should do this, because the chickens, if you if you spawn in, and we'll put the carrots away for now, and there's the rutabaga and an apple. If you spawn in one of the Mo Chickens chickens, they're aggressive immediately. So the best way to handle this may be to come over here, and then we're going to make the cookie chicken, and then we're going to rapidly feed it cookies, and then it should tame us, just like the blazing chicken did. So... Ready for this, you guys? <gasps> cookie chicken! Cookie chicken! And it's good! Yay! Oh my gosh, you guys, we have the cookie chicken! <laughs> All of the other, back, back! All of you, back! I want to be able to see the cookie chicken. <gasps> Look at how cute it is! Oh my gosh, you guys! Quills! Move yourselves! I want to look at my cookie chicken for a minute. And here he is! So this is going to be our reward. Here's our little our little cookie chicken, and he actually will lay cookies. So let's see if we can empty this out a little bit. And then we can add in filter item cookies. And now the cookie chicken will be able to actually um, gather up the, the like the like this will gather up the cookies the cookie chicken lays. So I want to stick around and I want to see the cookie chicken lay an egg. Or lay a cookie, I should say. But we may not see that just yet. So let's go ahead and we'll just take all of these eggs and get them out of here. Quill, you you guys... Oh my gosh, I have so many squicken. We really do need... No, stay in there. We really do need to start releasing them to some sort of squicken wildlife reserve. Because my quills just keep having more babies, like, of themselves. Alright, and we'll throw all these eggs in here. So that they're out of the way. And then... Hi, my babies! Who's my good puppies? And then we're going to come over and let's put the dodo eggs away. Alright, I know, Martha, there's so many dodo eggs. Oh, I think that the prices on that we get back for those are also going to start going down. No, Quill! Quill, 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 back inside, Quill. Alright, and let's come back over here. What? Oh no, the darlings have gotten in here! Darling, darling, how did you guys get in here? How am I going to get you out of here? What should I name my cookie chicken? Chocolate chips? <gasps> I thought it laid a cookie for a second. I got really excited. Not yet, not yet, but it will have a cookie laid in the future. And this awesome item collector will actually pick up the cookies. So, are you comfortable? Do you need do you need more chocolate? Is there something I could do to to help you adjust to the new home? I am so happy that he's here. All right. And there's so many quills. I need to uh, get back all you guys. Get back. I'm trying to watch my new chicken. My cookie chicken. I really need to get them in a different area because there's just so many of them. Do you see how much, look how much ink we have. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with all this ink. Oh, oh my gosh, there's more eggs. There's more eggs. All right, but yeah. Are you going to lay an egg? He might, he, or a, a, a cookie? It might be a little shy. So I probably shouldn't pester it and follow it around and wait for it to lay a cookie. But I promise you it will lay a cookie. And so what the plan is, is to actually take the cookie chicken 
and let it live in the chocolate chip factory, the chocolate factory. That the little chips, these little guys, are going to actually be in charge of. And then they'll make delicious chocolate, and it will probably compete with the Easter Egg Factory. But you know what? The, they make chocolate year-round. Easter Egg Factory. Oh my gosh, these eggs are so cute. I can't wait to go gather up the rest of the eggs. Easter Egg Factory, they only make, um, you know, Easter eggs every now and then. So I'm sure it'll be fine. But alright, let's come back in here. I'm gonna check one last time. It's gonna be a little while, I think, before it lays a cookie, though. No new cookies in here. But it seems to be settling in well. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this amazing day. It has been fantastic. All of the hats off to Alex for putting it together. He came up with everything you saw. He did everything you saw. He helped to um, create the entire factory that was totally on him. So please let him know how much it meant because this was such a wonderful way to spend my early birthday morning. Just going around searching for all of these Easter eggs and being able to get a cookie chicken, which is just that's something I, he knows I've been wanting for a long time. And I just wanted to see uh, how we could add it into our world. And this was the perfect way to do it. So there we go. And we'll have to have lots and lots of adorable ch cookie chickens in the future too. But all right, you guys. I am going to go and spend some wonderful time with my wonderful real life chips. And I will see you guys tomorrow for more adventures here in the beautiful Zudacia Zoo. So until next time, guys. Thank you so much for sharing yet another amazing birthday with me. It was fantastic. As always, it's even better when I share the joy and the happiness with you guys and with my friends. Friends, and I hope that you can take a little bit of the happiness I feel today and make it your own. And I just hope you're having a wonderful day and happy Easter, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.